Habitat loss and hunting wiped out the trumpeter swan population in the late 1800s, but thanks to restoration efforts over the last 30 years, they're back in full force with over 30,000 in the Midwest. News 19's Warren Sears lets you know about a project learning more about their intricate lifestyle. By the year 2000, it went to 40, we had 44 nesting pairs. And ever since then, the numbers have just exploded. In Wisconsin, we now have over 6,000 trumpeter swans. Call it a comeback. The trumpeter swan is one of the better success stories of restoration efforts in the area. Now researchers want to know more about the bird and its mannerisms. We know that there's no issue regarding the population status or vulnerability, but there's a lot of concern about where these birds are actually going to winter and the kinds of habitats that they're using. The most recent project is currently underway, fitting trumpeter swans with GPS collars, recording the bird's location every 15 minutes. What we hope to do with this current study is to get more specific information on where they're stopping over where, when they migrate, where are they actually all going, the birds that are marked, and um, when are they coming back, and what kind of uh, habitats are they using on the way back. So we'll get a more, really more complete ecological picture. Wisconsin DNR is donating 10 GPS collars to the Minnesota-based project, and by next year, they hope to have 100 birds outfitted in total. I think the picture we get is get, that unfolds is really going to be pretty exciting to see. The swans will start to migrate through the Cooley region in full force here in the next month or so. In La Crosse, Warren Sears, News 19. To track the swans' migration and follow along on their journey, find this story on our website, wxow.com.